Uh, it's time now for our life hack feature. I learned a thing or two about how to make bread with Baker, Babette, Gorillas. Let's take a look. South Africans love their bread. It's estimated that we eat on average three slices every day. And it's easily accessible in this country. 97% of shops and cafes have it. But it's a, a real art to making a good loaf of bread. It's a lot more than flour and dough. And Babette is a master of making bread. How do you make good bread? Firstly, you need very good flour. So you need a very good natural flour. Uh, so I like to use all our local flours like uh, Eureka Mills or Champagne Valley or Millstone. Stone ground flour, unbleached, no chemicals, no preservatives. So that is very important. Um, you also need time, patience and love. So it's not sufficient to just rush the process. You have to give the dough sufficient time to ferment, to break down the gluten, to actually bring out the flavors in the dough, in the bread, and also to bring out the color and the character of the bread. You were never a bread maker. I mean, you didn't start off wanting to make that your career? No, it what was happened? quite by chance actually. So I've always loved baking, but it was always more on the sweet side. And I actually studied to do a BA LLB at Wits University and I finished my, both the degrees. And then I went and did a bread apprenticeship in Vermont in the States under a French baker. And the reason for that was because I fell in love with bread baking during the final two years of my LLB degree. Um, my stepfather actually said to me the one day, I love that you're always baking, but don't you want to bake something that's a little bit more real, a little bit, um, you know, something that you can eat every day as opposed to a sweet treat, or, you know, that you have to wait and count calories for and so on. And so I went through all my recipe books and eventually I came across a recipe for a basic loaf of bread, an old school cottage loaf. I baked this bread and it clicked. Like something in me just said, this, this is amazing. From just taking very simple basic ingredients, letting, mixing them together, allowing the dough to rise, knocking it back, allowing it to rise again, eventually shaping it and watching that rise and then finally baking it. You see the process in the oven as well and then you get this gorgeous loaf coming out and you can share that with people. I mean, it's so rewarding. I can feel the it's love. Wonderful. <laughs> so how did you take the love for making bread and turning it into a business? Initially, it started because I was purely baking so much at my mother's house, from my mother's house, and um, my mom had a surplus of bread in the house at all you know, all the time. So she started giving her students, she's a piano teacher, she started giving her students bread, we started giving the neighbors bread, and eventually word got out and people started ordering. And eventually I had a mailing list and I would send out a mailer saying, this is when I'm baking, this is when I'm baking, and people would pre-order their breads. And eventually I started taking on smaller coffee shops and little delis, um, you know, sort of bespoke places that would appreciate good bread and they started buying from me as well. And here you are today, you got Babette's bread or working under Babette's bread. How big have you become and what do you think the trick is to expanding a business? I think you have to stay true to your brand, true to your message. I think often as you grow, sometimes you can compromise on the quality of the product and that's one thing that I'm not willing to do. So even though I'm growing as a brand and I'm, you know, more people are getting to know my product and the bread and I'm being featured you know, in, in magazines and articles, you have to make sure that the actual product stays you know, very, very good. How much marketing is needed in something like this? I have a mailer, I have my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Um, so I do quite a lot of marketing on there and then also word of mouth is very important. So if people enjoy your product and they appreciate what you're doing, then the word spreads. I know there are different types of bread, but what do you think the best combination with bread is? I'm going to be very boring and just say good old fashioned bread with butter. That is, you can't beat it. So your tips to somebody who wants to become someone like you, what should they do? Get very good at what you're doing, Get, become skilled, uh, practice every day. It's not sufficient to just you know, go to one lesson and then you think you can open a business. Like anything, you have to learn you know, the different aspects of, of uh, the baking process.